Hello. Welcome to our series on the new Astrogator rendezvous and proximity operation sequences. Um, I'm going to start by going through kind of where they exist in SDK uh, and how we interact with them. So I'm going to go ahead and go into SDK. Uh, typically, I just create a new scenario, but I already have one uh, ready to go, just a blank one created in um, SDK 12.2. So as we let that load there, um, go ahead and talk about where we're going to find these sequences. So the sequences themselves represent the rendezvous and proximity operations capabilities um, that we've added into SDK. Um, the sequences have existed for a little while and uh, represent the um, kind of the knowledge and experience of you know, decades of, of operations experience. Um, and so we've been able to distill that down, put it into the sequence segments of Astrogator, and make specialized ones for that. And so we, we find the tool in SDK under the Utilities menu. So with the new scenario created, I can go to this Astrogator RPO setup tool. Um, and really what the, the goal of this mechaniz mechanism is, is to reconfigure your workspace to do the rendezvous and proximity operations mission design. Uh, and so there's really just one thing you do. You load the template files. And you let it load. It takes a little while, um, about 15 seconds or so. The, uh, th this is one reason why we have this tool here. We didn't want to have everybody that uses Astrogator have to pay this cost every time they start SDK to, to bring up the, um, the different sequences and such. Um, so. All right, so now that those have loaded, um, we can go ahead and look at where they live in SDK um, once they've been loaded. And so the, there are a number of support objects. You notice that you have several different satellites that have been loaded here into the object browser. Uh, but also if you go to the component browser, you can look and see where um, these new RPO sequences live. So I switch to Astrogator Components. You look in the MCS segments. And you see there are several new folders here. Uh, that represent different categories of the RPO sequences. So for example, uh, these RPO configuration sequences um, are sequences that automate typical setup um, and just kind of um, things that you would do to have to set up your MCS and get things started uh, to do the RPO work. Um, and then we have a folder of sequences that contain um, or that, that represent uh, differential force um, mechanisms. And these are sequences that can maintain a particular behavior um, under differential forces acting upon uh, the target and your RPO satellite, your chase satellite. Um, and this is typically a consequence of things like differential drag or differential SRP. And then we have a folder with forced motion sequences where we can manually prescribe the satellite to um, perform operations in, in a particular way and um, actively control them to do that. Um, we have a couple of matched force sequences, and these are much like the differential force sequences, but in this particular case, um, the, the forces match between the target and the chase satellite. Um, then we have a set of uh, rendezvous sequences, and these are um, to bring the, the spacecraft into proximity or, or to leave proximity of like the target satellite. Um, and then we have a couple of folders with specialized sequences, um, and these are uh, different various operations that, that have special um, mechanisms inside of them. Um, so there's a general one and there's also a R bar and V bar specialized uh, folder. And in this case it's um, specialized sequences that have to do with approaching or departing uh, the R bar or the V bar um, from other um, phases of your mission. And then finally we have uh, a set of support sequences. And these are sequences that you wouldn't actually be using directly, but they get used elsewhere in the other sequences. Um, so that's where they live in SDK after you've loaded them. Now let's go ahead and take a look at how you would use them. So I'm going to open up uh, my RPO satellite here. And so these template satellites so, you know, got loaded in with the tool, and so they're there and available and somewhat pre-configured for you to work with. You see there's already some of these RPO sequences on this particular satellite. You have you know, set reference vehicle, that's one of these special sequences, set initial state, and a coast. Um, and basically the, the notion is you can take and add into your MCS any of those sequences that we saw in the component browser. So I just go ahead and insert. Um, and then for example, I'll go ahead and throw in um, a V-bar hop. Um, and then I can just run that. And 
in order to do um, the, the operations associated with like this rendezvous proximity operation, in this particular case, this V-bar hop, uh, we'll be doing astrogator things like targeting to make it happen. Um, so let's go ahead and from that V-bar hop, we'll set our animation time to the start of it. And we will zoom to our RPO satellite in the 3D graphics. Um, I'll make this bigger. And so you can see here, there's our RPO satellite. I'm going to turn off the target so we can kind of see, you know, we're there on the, the target satellite's orbit. And that's, we're starting near it. Um, and we're going to go along the V-bar and, and do a hop from one place on the V-bar to another. Um, so there's our, our actual target satellites over here. So we're starting here. I'm going to turn up my animation speed. Uh, let's go down a little bit. And we can just go ahead and watch as this happens. And so we just move then along that hop, uh, which is going to take us from this um, point on the V-bar, um, either in front of or behind the target satellite. And it's going to take us back to the V-bar um, and go a little bit faster even. And so that's the, the notion of what we do there. We basically can build up our mission by adding any of these sequences that we need to um, from these RPO folders. And, and that helps us then to start designing our RPO mission. Um, and so this has just been an introduction to um, this, this video series where we're going to actually go through and talk about each of the individual sequences in detail and, and what, they, what they do. Um, so uh, stay tuned. <laughs>